Okay, and we're back for your five minute room rescue and your two minute hot spot drill. Today we are going to cover, oh, cover the flat surface makeover. And ah, phone just dropped on the floor. <coughs> that has what I need to be talking about on it. So we're going to do our flat surface makeover. And we are going to be talking about what's for dinner. Okay, so here we go. Your five minutes starts now. Okay, what do I mean by a flat surface makeover? Well, I alluded to it yesterday about taking care of the dresser and stuff like that. Um, when you go through and you declutter your flat surfaces, so we're talking countertops, we're talking shelf tops, not even necessarily what's in the shelves, just the top of the shelves. We're talking your TV stands, your fireplaces, um, your filing cabinets, your dressers, your nightstands. Um, I'm sure I've, your stove top. I'm sure I've missed some, but um, in general, that's what I'm talking about. When those are clean, it immediately will give the illusion of a cleaner room without you having to tackle a single thing on the floor. Now, this also means that you have to keep it up dusting, but hey, that's what the weekly home blessing is for, right? Because the less stuff you have on those, the easier it is just to dust over them when it comes to the weekly home blessing dusting. You're going to be able to get through your entire house in eight minutes. Whereas before, you wouldn't necessarily be able to. Um, there was a person that I used to go to their house a lot. And they had stuff just all over, everywhere on top of their shelves. And it just felt like it the whole room was closing in on you. Now, I'm not saying they need to be totally sparse. You can have a couple things on there, but, you know, like my counters in my kitchen, I try to have as little on them as possible because I need the workspace. I have one counter that I keep my small appliances that I use at least every three days on. If it gets used less than ever, or yeah, less than every three days, you know, to where, or more than every three days. It gets used four days every five days or maybe every couple of weeks. It gets put away. So I have that, you know, I have a couple things on there. We display ones, um, motorcycle painting trophies. Obviously, my printer is on quote unquote display. Uh, just sex barometer is on display. You know, so yes, I do have things on top of the shelves, but it's stuff that really means something to us. I'm minus the printer. I don't know how much a printer can actually mean, but I mean, it does help when it comes to schoolwork. I talked yesterday about what we have on our dresser in the bedroom. You know, it's it, his motorcycle models of the bikes that he's owned. That means something to him. His koosh, that's just there as a reminder to take it to work when his foot isn't broke no more. Um, you know, uh, his deer antlers are up on there. Uh, there's a lamp on a different dresser in our bedroom. That's his Harley lamp. You know, well, you need a lamp. And then there's his clock and the change. And that's it. You know, the, the more sparse you keep your counters, the bigger illusion it is that the room is cleaner than what it actually is because you're seeing clean flat surfaces so you know I'm not saying just throw things in the cupboard gosh no but if you use that as a jumping point it will give you something to look at and then plus as you're going through your items you really sit there and think is that worth going on my counter is that worth get me giving up that space that I am cherishing oh so much and I love the way it looks? You really start to sit there and think and look at your items in a different way. 
because once you see those clean, flat surfaces, they are impactful. And like everything else that I tell you, don't take my word for it. Try it for yourself. Stick everything in a box. Take a look at that flat surface. There may be things you can't get rid of for that flat surface, but there may be things that you can. Really use <coughs> a third eye on it and see how you feel about things. So that is our five minute room rescue. Now, our hot spot drill is what's for dinner and why we do that in the evening routine. Okay, what's for dinner tomorrow? Here we go. Two minutes has started. We're at 153. What's for dinner tomorrow? Why is this so important? Well, there's a couple reasons. Number one, you need to know if you need to pull out any meat. I do like cooking my meat from frozen. Although you can't do that with every single recipe, you need to know if you need to pull out any meat. You also need to know if you need to run to the grocery store tomorrow, because then that goes on your goal list for that day. You need to know if you have everything. Maybe the weather has changed drastically, because we all know that within a week, your weather can change drastically, and it's not necessarily what they predicted. May, so maybe you need to alter it. Maybe an event has come up and you need to alter what you're having that day. A meal plan is still flexible. It is a plan. It is not set in stone. It is a plan. This is what you're planning to have. There have been some weeks where the same recipe has been on for like three or four weeks at a time because I haven't gotten around to making it. But when you start planning for dinner the next day, and maybe even breakfast and lunch, but we're not pushing it right now, there is a stress and a weight that is taking off of you, and it makes it easier to go about your day and think about your day and know that you know what's going for supper. I mean, if something needs to go in the slow cooker all day long, and it doesn't, it can't be a frozen meat, you need to know that the day ahead of time. Make sure you read your recipes. Make sure you know what's going on so that way you can plan and prepare for the next day. This helps sometimes, you know, when you get better at it, maybe you can do two days. Maybe you could do three. Maybe you only have to plan what's for dinner twice a week. And that is amazing. So there's your two-minute hotspot drill. I hope you're getting your hotspots taken care of. I'll talk to you tomorrow.